we sell what you believe in yeah. and the road that we've been on, I freaking believe in, in exactly what we're doing. We are now mm. taking the baton that we've been handed yeah. and now we have the opportunity to pay it forward and give these opportunities to people. Real business, real business, real business. Whatever your situation is currently is not your forever situation. That's really what real business owners is, man. Like we don't care where you come from, yeah. where are you going? Our goal and our job is to reduce the mistakes that you have to make or the money that you have to lose. You want to be an entrepreneur, you want to be successful, don't give up. You learn, adjust, and continue to move forward. Welcome back to the Real Business Owners Podcast with myself, Trevor Cowley. As always, Kilo G. What's up, family? Guys, today we have a really special episode. It's special to us, um, and it's going to be special to roughly 300 other people. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> Guys, we're gonna we're gonna throw our first event, our first real business owners live event. Um, we've had a lot of you guys reach out and want to link up with us, and we want to link up with you. We want to be able to meet some of the people that have supported us yeah. over the last four years, you know. And and I'm surprised at one that four years later, it feels like it's been a year or two, but yeah. also at the same time a decade. It feels like we've been doing it forever, and. It's yeah. kind of flown by, so it's kind of a... It's kind weird. of wild when you think back because, um, I mean, this whole entire brand, this whole real business owners, yeah. I mean, it really it really kind of stemmed from putting ourselves in the right rooms in the right environments, yeah. you know? And it's, it's like, here we are, you know, however many years later, five, six years later, you know, four doing the podcast, but no, five or six from like actually yeah. starting to go to the right events with the right people. And, um, and then we got people listening saying, Hey, you know, I want to get in the room with you. I want to get in the room with you. And it's like, okay, this is our first public event. Like, yeah. You know, like for the last year, a little over a year, we've been throwing like our private events yeah. with our mastermind members. And that's all, you know, came, came to fruition from putting ourselves in the right rooms as well. But like, man, it's just, it's crazy, bro. I'm like a little bit nervous, but super excited at the same time. It's yeah. like, you well, know what I mean? I think like, anybody throwing their first yeah. event would be a little bit, a little bit nervous. I mean, yeah. you know, even putting our first mastermind together. I mean, that was nerve wracking, right? Like, so true. And, but that's a lesson in, in of itself right there. Like, are you continuing to put yourself in situations where you're a little bit nervous? Yeah. Like if you show up to the following day and you're not nervous about something, or if there's not something on the horizon that kind of makes you, I don't know, outgrow the current version of yourself in one way or another, then are you really doing it right? Yeah. You know? And so I think that this is a way for us to honor what we preach to a certain extent, right? Like yeah. continue to put yourself in environments that force you to grow to the new version of yourself. Right. And this is, a new environment for us that's going to force us to grow and evolve to a new Trevor, a new Kel, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so it just kind of coincides with the message that we've been preaching for the last four years. Yeah. Always be out evolving the current version of yourself by creating the environments in the future that will force you to do that, yeah. right? Like if we had to throw an event and it was next month, it could be just too much and you're like, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. This is This is an event that's going to be you know, in September, it's September, what, 8th, 9th, and 10th? Yeah. Am I, no, is, it, is yeah. it, or is it 9th, 10th, yeah. okay. September 8th, 9th, and 10th. Where's the, 8th, 9th, and 10th? Yeah. And it's going to be in Plano, Texas, yeah. or Dallas, Texas, yeah, it's right? Yeah, to Dallas. Um, um, it's, I mean, every, everywhere is like 20 minutes from DFW, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, uh, But, you know, one of the reasons we chose Dallas is, one, we've got a, a, an awesome network there. Yeah. Um, but then, two, it's like, dude, it's like, whether you're coming from East Coast, West Coast, it's super accessible, but... I would like to tell people, I'm like, listen to your gut feeling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, when I think about all the events that we've gone to, man, I remember coming in and talking to you, and mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, um, you know, it's so funny because I came in, I never listened to podcasts, ever. Yeah. And I'm like, one day I'm at the gym, I'm like, dude, I keep hearing about people and podcasts, it just doesn't seem like my thing, I'm going to go ahead and give it a crack, right? And start listening to it. And I, so I, I search business podcasts, because that's what I'm into, I'm into business yeah. podcasts, or into business, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to, what's the top business podcasts out there? I click on Andy Frisella. You know, I start listening to this guy for a couple few times at the gym and I come in, I start telling Trev about this guy and he's like, dude, yeah, I've been seeing that guy. I think, I think me, either yeah. you'd start listening to yeah. him. That's what's crazy about Trev and I is like, you know, it's like I could be totally doing something on my own, not even talking to him about it. And then I go talk to him about it. He's like, I've been doing that too. Yeah. Right. And so it's like, anyway, we start listening to this guy 
Um, and then at the same time, I really liked Gary V at the time too. And I was, so I'm listening to Gary V stuff and I'm like, dude, I think, I think we could do business with these people, mm -hmm. you know, like, and I know that you guys also listening to our podcast, like you're building business, you're visualizing a, a, you know, a crazy, you know, big dream that you're trying to build. And you see people out there with influence and you know what that can do to, you know, your brand, if you gain some influence in your business. Right. And so I'm, I'm having those same thoughts that I guarantee a lot of you listening are having. And I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and reach out because they had this promotion running yeah. right of the, the Gary V, the Vayner sports like hey hire one of our athletes to be in your promotional videos yeah and so i'm messaging the guy no reply you know and i come in i tell trev i'm like bro i just took a shot and he's like message him again i messaged the guy again i think it's like it's a third message they actually replied and i was like okay cool bro like let's freaking hire Derek morgan which was the linebacker yeah. from tennessee titans right yeah and i'm like let's do it next thing i know i'm i'm going through a couple of sales guys i'm on the phone with Gary V's brother, AJ. Mm -hmm. And AJ's like, dude, you should come out to Gary's event that he's throwing at Agent 2021. Annie Frisella's speaking at yeah. it. I start looking at it, I'm like, bro, we've been listening to Annie Frisella. We've been wanting to connect with him. He's launching this whole entrepreneur group. I want to be in front of him. Yep. Trev's like, I want to be in front of him. I'm like, dude, I'm going to trust our gut. Like, let's go. And so we freaking booked flights. We fly to Miami. We spent a few days there. And that's dude, we, across the country for us. Exactly. You dude. know, like and that's not, that's not like a state over, yeah, bro. That was like a five or six hour flight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only way you get further is Alaska. Yeah. Maybe like Alaska, Washington or whatever, California. But like, do we get out there and you got to understand like, like, as people get more and more and more famous or influenced, they become a little bit more untouchable like, yeah. or, or, you know, getting within their presence. And so I don't know if it was just like perfect timing before Gary got too big and Andy got too big, but all I know, man, is like we get out there. Next thing I know, we're at lunch with Gary V's sister. She's hiring us for yeah. accounting. We're at lunch with Gary V's mom, yeah. who's co-signing for Liz to hire us for their yep. accountants. We're, you know, we'd flown to New York. We'd met a AJ, you know, we met Gary V at the Agent 2021. It's like, holy crap, man. We're rubbing shoulders with these guys. We're getting freaking pictures with we them. We took a piss with Andy Frisella in the bathroom. Oh, he, he was changing his shirt because he ass. was sweating because yeah. it was Miami. It was Miami heat. So he's in there changing his shirt. <laughs> and, like, I don't even think we, we went in there to down, pee. Dude. Yeah, I don't even think we went in there to pee. It wasn't by accident. No, huh? we were sitting in the we seats. Were, and we, we saw, saw him, him walk go back over in there the tunnel. And we said, let's go over there. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Let's go find him. I remember going back under the tunnel. We were asking security or yeah, whatever. Right, like, go? Yeah. Oh, or like maybe we asked for a bathroom or something because yeah. I don't remember. But we, we talked to some. Yeah, we talked to some people. Yeah. Um, found out where the bathroom was. And it was just like us three. We walk like in there. Awkward, and his shirt's off. And I'm like, oh, I got to pee too. So I yeah. fake peed yeah. while we're talking to Andy. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, what is what is this uh, entrepreneur yeah. event, dude? I've heard you talking about on yeah. your podcast, right? And we start asking him questions about it. And he's like, dude, I'd love to help you guys out. Email me, right? Yeah. And so, like, I remember emailing him too, like, hey, where are the guys that cornered you in, in the, the bathroom, bathroom yeah. right? You know, that's so, unforgettable, bro. Yeah. Everybody remembers if they were got cornered in the bathroom, exactly. why their shirt's off. Yeah. You know, exactly. so it was, it was a little awkward. It was a little weird, but. You know, you, you've got to put yourself in those environments to give yourself a chance, right, yeah. uh, to be memorable. Exactly. But at the same time, like, the story that you're talking about, like, let's be real. Did we did we make a bunch of money off of spot, like this this athlete that, yeah. we, that we recorded a video with? Not at all. Not at all. So all that really was was what? A stepping stone. Exactly. Right? And so that's what people need to understand is sometimes that you're putting yourself in environments and you're spending money to get in proximity to the person that you're trying to actually get close to. Exactly. And that stepping stone is valuable in that it's that. Bro, a stepping I text, stone. I text AJ four months ago when we first started talking about throwing yeah, this yeah, event, this yeah. first public event. Yeah. And I was like, Hey bro, like uh, wondering what it would take to, to hire Gary to come out and speak. Yeah. And uh, you know, going through the whole thing, it's like, you know, Gary's not going to come speak unless you got like a thousand people in the seats and you know, quarter million, you know, or whatever. Yeah, quarter yeah. mil to pay his fee and stuff. And it's like, well, we're not throwing one that big to start. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll definitely probably have him at some of our future events, but it was like, how cool is it? He just text his bro. Yeah. Like, Yo, put me in touch with, yeah. with the booking agent. Yeah. You know, like, it's like, and, and, and it was <laughs> worth the 10 or 15 grand, whatever it was that we spend 
to do a video with this athlete that yeah. we were we didn't even know who he was. I mean, he's like a defensive player for the Titans. Yeah, we like we didn't know, but it's like <laughs> okay, cool, bro. You're our stepping stone to get closer to AJ, which happens to be the brother of Gary, right? And it's just like there's a process to it all, and I just don't think that because people can't connect the dots that far out, yeah. they're like, ah, eh, well, if I spend this ten or fifteen grand, that's not getting me to Gary. Right. So why would I do that? Yeah. Like they want a direct connection instead of like being OK with having a, a detour. Right. Yeah. Like on a flight. Right. Those are, you know, boom, boom, boom. And eventually it connects you to where you're trying to go. Exactly. And so we've spent the money. We've spent the time. We've flown around. We've put ourselves in the environments to get in proximity. And then from there, you got to corner people in the bathroom. So, like, if you come to our event, <laughs> you know, find us in the restroom, <laughs> yeah. you know, we'll say yeah. what's up. Just but don't lock the door behind yeah, you when you walk yeah, in. Yeah, don't bro. make it then, awkward. Then we're going to be know? like don't throwing make... blows or something. I get weird. But no, <laughs> like, uh, like, it's just important for people to understand and know that, you know, environments are important. We've talked about yeah. creating environments for yourself that stretches yourself, like, this event is going to be somewhat small and somewhat intimate. Like yeah. those are the most valuable. Those are the most valuable. It's not like a Dude. 500 or a thousand or a 1500 seat venue, right? Yeah. Like we're literally, we have 300 tickets that we're selling. Why? Because you guys know us, you've known us over the last four years. Like we want to like get FaceTime with people. We yeah. want to be walking around in the crowd with people. We want to get to know you guys exactly. that have actually supported us um, two small town dudes that, you know, started a podcast four years ago. Yeah. Like that means a lot to us. The letters that we've got, the support that we've got, the reviews that we've got, like we, we want to show you how much we appreciate that by having something that's a little bit smaller, a little bit more intimate yeah. to where we can create that connection that we also crave as entrepreneurs, as human beings. Right. Yeah. Well, so we'll throw we'll throw bigger and bigger, sure. and bigger events, yeah. right? Because like honestly, we're, we are we're on an we're on a mission to literally create the world of entrepreneurship to be something of high integrity and and uh, literally make sure that entrepreneurship continues to go that way. There's so much scammy shit out yeah, there. Yeah, it's like yeah. we want to represent like doing shit the right way. Yeah, and so big events, bigger influence bigger impact for the entire nation, yeah, right? Yeah. For the entire like small business world. Yeah. You know? And so like, you know, obviously, yeah, the motivation is to do bigger and bigger stuff. But when I think about like what we got out of putting ourselves in these rooms, like, okay, cool. We got to know some cool people, right? Yeah. It's more than that. Yeah. We started the podcast because literally Andy Frisella influenced us to. He said once we did join his higher level mastermind, yep. like you guys got to start a podcast. Look what's happened, right? Um, it's connected us with guys like Ryan Stuman, sponsored his events, did millions of dollars in sales for our accounting company. You know, like it's but but there was also there was Kent Clothier. Yeah. Right. He was kind of on the hit, hey, we want to do business with him. Oh, Ryan is friends with him. Exactly. So now we joined Ryan's group and got yeah. in that mastermind. And then what what did we do? to get closer in to this individual that knows an individual that we also want to get close to. Okay, we're part of the mastermind. Now what? Yeah. Sponsored the event. Yeah. Right? Like we've we've spent hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of thousands of that. Of yeah. Between like, all sponsorships. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like and so yeah. then that happened and he knows that we're there and we're supportive and we're down for the cause, right? Yeah. And then what happened? We yeah. got closer to Kent. And then what did we do? We spent, you know, a six figure amount to sponsor and become a sponsor of all of uh, Kent's events yep. for the entire year, right? And so it's like, th this is this is the game. This is exactly game, how dude. you play it. Like, yeah. like we're, we're, here's the fucking blueprint. Like we're literally showing you exactly what we've done to be in proximity to some of the highest players in yep. the game. And most people just aren't willing to, you know, cut the check or... Yeah you know, buy the plane ticket or get that hotel room. And you are your own demise if you're not willing to put yourself out there a little bit and do something that the old version of you wouldn't do yeah. because you would be a little scared. You would be a little nervous. It is, you know, intimidating yeah. to buy a ticket and walk into a room and just be like, oh, I don't even know what to expect. Now totally. that's not for me. 
Cool. Well, what is for you then is to remain in the same situation that you've been in for the last year, two years, three years, exactly. four years, and have a repeated cycle. So hopefully you're comfortable with where you're at, because yeah. if you're not going to, to, to start making decisions that's different than what you've done over the last three or four years, the result that you have is the result that you'll keep. Yep. Right. And so, dude, and the thing is, man, like when I look back, what's one of the best things you can do to insulate your business from economic turmoil um, to, you know, you know, insulating your family from yeah, economic turmoil? Yeah. What's some, what's some of the best things you can do to like elevate people around you? It's build your own level of influence. You become an authority in your space yeah. and your niche. And I'm not saying like we're super famous, but it is pretty cool when we yeah. go out and people are like, bro, like when you guys did that podcast episode, or you talked on this, that was right when I was going through that. It helped me so much. Like, yeah. you know, like it's like, dude, it feels so good to be able to deliver our experiences and our lessons and our wisdom to you. And now it's your wisdom and it's helped you, but now you're building like this authority. And so, you know, and guys, guys have known us, like they've seen us with, you know, flying on jets with uh, Ryan Stuman and connecting us with Kent and then, you know, and then burn off and then going to all these cool different like ecosystems and becoming like they already know yeah. who we are when we yeah. go there. Yeah. And we're giving them stages and we're yeah. giving them time on our podcast. And then we're getting asked to be on podcasts. And now we're insulating ourselves because I don't care what happens. Like, let's say easier counting totally crumbled tomorrow. Yeah. Like, dude, people know us. We have amazing people in our network. If we wanted to start something up tomorrow, we could. And yeah. we have. Yeah. Like literally because of the connections we made in Arte, we started our credit repair company, does four, almost $5 million a year yeah. in sales, right? We've made investments with Dan Fleischman. We've made investments with Charles Covey. We've made investments with Aaron Wagner, you know? And like, yeah, some of them are still getting going. Some of them, some of them, you know, none of them have been home, like, not all of them have been home runs. Some yeah. of them are freaking kick some ass of, some of them tank some of them don't yeah you know, but like, like welcome to business at the same time it's like, like dude if i want to call up and do something yeah. with with anybody of it was like we're one phone call away well what right? about so that what influence about, what about the event that we threw for our mastermind it was yeah. a phone call away he's like sure here take my office and take the jet hanger yeah right exactly. like it's just exactly. stuff like that like yeah. having those type of connections gives you more opportunities yeah than individuals without those connections. Yeah. Like literally, if you you are by yourself with yourself, you're left to create by yourself and with yourself. Yeah. But if you're surrounded by a hundred other people that are there to create and there to grow and you know want to share opportunities, because you gotta understand opportunities need money and people to bring it to life, yeah. right? And so and opportunities find people that put themselves in the right environments. Exactly. Like we wouldn't have the opportunities that you're talking about unless we were in those environments. Like somebody randomly is not dude. just going to hit up two strangers and say, hey, do you want this exactly. opportunity? And we do one of the best ways to build your own level of influence is get in these right rooms when you're small. Like start, you know, rubbing shoulders and sharing pictures and putting content out with the people that are just starting to get that momentum and and build your own level of influence because yeah. that does insulate you yeah. from so much. But it literally all starts and started for us because like we were just willing to have enough courage to listen to our gut feeling. Yeah. Like, dude, I think I think like we could meet Gary. Yeah. I think we could meet Andy. I think we could join their mastermind. Like, oh yeah, that's a lot of money. Okay, I think we can pull it off. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like now it's like we're able to provide stages to these people. Now we're able to like you know, provide now, airspace to these people. Now like, now we become a stepping stone. Yeah. Which is kind of like a cool thing. <laughs> right? Like we we help close the gap in exactly. terms of proximity. Exactly. Right. So in other words, we become a stepping stone to other individuals that we've had to spend money, time, effort, energy, you know, flying around hotels, not being with our family to create those connections. And we're bringing them one step closer yep. to the individuals that are going to be attending the event. Right. Dude, just like Cody uh, Jefferson was saying on our, yeah. on our group call last week, like he's like, dude, I literally followed the OPS method, other people's stages, other people's podcasts. Yeah. Like, I'm putting myself out there as much as I can. Now I've got all these businesses doing nine figures a year combined. Like, you know, I'm worth multi eight figures now. And it's like, it's crazy. It's like, you don't want to brag about that stuff, but at the same time it is, it's impactful. And so it's all from being able to 
get on stages, get on podcasts. And the best way to do that is to start creating your own influence as well. So anyway, this whole event is not about just building influence, yeah. become an authority in your space. Yeah. Um, it, the best events we've ever went to, man, weren't, they weren't like pitch fest, you know, buy our, buy our program. Every speaker gets up to sell something. It's like, literally it's just bringing an environment together that's meant of to win growth. with yeah. the right integrity pouring into each other. And that's exactly what we've done. We've like created an amazing lineup of people that are going to be helping you with the mechanics of your business, the mindset, the marketing, like the money side the of business. Relationships. Like, yeah. You know, like some of the best Keith, people, you know, exactly. Like, dude, we're literally at all of our years of experience. We're taking that network and saying, okay, like, Who's the best at everything, right? Like the money aspect, right? Like, yeah. dude, we're bringing somebody on that's like one of the best out there in the money game. One of the best in the mm -hmm. relationship. game. Like we understand the struggles that you're going through. Weird. Yeah. We are you. We are the entrepreneur. Yeah. We are the business owner. Like nothing that you're dealing with right now is unique to us, right? Like we've been there. We've done that. We've been scared, but we did that, right? Yeah. Like... And so this is, this is us calling out to you and saying, we want you there. Yeah. Like, that's just, that, that's straight up. We want you there. I want to meet you. Kel wants to meet you. I want to take a picture with you. I want to shake your hand. I want to thank you for supporting us. Yep. And at the exact same time, you know, you might, it, it, this might be just another thing that's easy to pass on. And that's why Kel's saying like, listen to your gut feeling. Mm -hmm. Like if right now you're starting to think like, should I, should I, like that thought exists yeah. for a reason. And you've had a lot of thoughts that ex have existed that you did nothing about that you probably wish you would have. Yep. So if something's calling to you right now saying that you need to be there and you don't even understand why, don't try to understand why. Honor the calling. Take that next step yep. and go to our website, rbolive.com, and buy a ticket. Yep. These ticket prices will go up. Like, the first hundred tickets that we sell are going to be for two hundred ninety-seven dollars. Dude, it's such a smoking deal. Yeah, for th like <laughs> so, so you're getting really three days, two and a half days. Yeah. Did we confirm that we're going to do the thing at at your house on Sunday after the event? Maybe. Um, you know, I'm not uh, sure if we confirmed that I, or not. I don't know. I have the space. Yeah, I have the space. We need to figure out the catering and yeah, and yeah, like yeah. all that stuff. Um, so do that. So that house has an airplane hangar. Right? Yeah. Um, I bought this house in Dallas and I bought it because it was like such a unique deal. Like it's, it's first of all zoned County. So they'll never be able to say, Oh, you can't Airbnb here. So as more and more cities yeah. and States are regulating locations of doing Airbnb proof stuff, I don't have to mess with that shit. Mm. So that was like one of the due diligence things that made this, uh, this property so attractive, but it has an airstrip. It's got its own airplane hanger. I want to pimp that airplane hanger out to be like funner than hell, dude. Yeah. Like pickleball it's courts, pool room. ball tables, yeah. ping pong, darts on the wall. Like it's your kind freaking, of man cave. Like kind of a, yeah, yeah, like kind of a man yeah. cave bar yeah. out yeah. there, you know, even though I don't drink anymore. Like I want guests to have that. Yeah. So I, I am getting ready to drop some money in it. And if it's done in time, I would love to do it there. Yeah. You know, but it is cool. We, I mean, we we dropped at least 250,000 into to the remodel, not yeah. even counting the airplane hangar. Yeah. So it'd be cool. And, and dude, if, well, if well, it's well, done in time, I'd love to have everybody there. Yeah. So for we, the we, we, yeah, we've talked about doing kind of a luncheon after on yeah. Sunday because like individuals, again, we, we just said we wanted to get more FaceTime. We want to be able to hang out with you. We want to get to know yeah. you and hear your stories. And you know, you've heard all of our stories, right? Like, yeah. You, you know, uh, there's like people that come up to, oh, hey, man, this, that, the other about the story. And you're like, how did you know that? Oh, I listen to your podcast. It's like, dude, it's like there's people out there that yeah. know us that we don't even know. Exactly. Which is like weird. Yeah. You know, so don't make it weird. Like, come <laughs> share your story with us so that we know who you are as well. Because everybody's got a story. And the fact is, is if you got a cool one, we might just invite you on the podcast. Dude, I know. People think it's so much harder than it is. It's just a matter of like. Showing up, Getting show up, people show up, you know, and like, honestly, dude, that's what you're going to get. You come, you come hang out with us. You're going to learn something about 
creating your own authority, creating your own influence. You're yeah. going to learn something about getting your money right in your business or the right people to help you get your SLPs right or help you design them yourself yeah. or help you get your marketing right. Like, yeah. you know, like we've learned so much about marketing as we've gotten to know more and more people that we've met through this environment and this ecosystem. And it's like, oh shit, like no wonder we couldn't get marketing right before. Like we were insecure. We were afraid to like do things the right way, capture attention, mm -hmm. you know, build the right audiences, you know, spend the money because we didn't have something that convert. Like, yeah. like you're going to learn so much from just being there. And it's not a pitch fest. It's a come hang out intimately with people that are building great shit like you're doing. I would say that really it put us on the trajectory of having just higher standards and values for ourselves. That was a huge, huge part of it, change, dude. right? And when you change your values and the standards that you, that you hold yourself accountable to, like your world starts to change, right? Yeah. The reason why you have what you have is because you have low standards or low values for yourself, right? Yeah. You don't expect that much out of yourself. And when you put yourself in environments, uh, I've told this story before, but like we were around somebody of high influence and he had a booger hanging out his nose, <laughs> you know? And I was like, holy shit, he's human, yeah. you know? Cause we continue to put people on pedestals like, they're gods or something yeah. like we can't do what they're doing. So like, I'll just get a dopamine hit and being there in their presence mm -hmm. rather than actually doing the things that they do that got them there. Right. Yeah. And so it was just like, dude, that was a moment for me. Like, come check it out. Like me and Kel have boogers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we're human, <laughs> just like you, we've just put ourselves in, in again, situations or environments that, that forced us to think a little bit deeper than what our current thought processes were which made us want to be better men, better husbands, better leaders in our business, yeah. just better entrepreneurs in general. And if you're not around those type of environments, like you, you don't just randomly have thoughts like, hmm, I want to be a better leader, a better husband, a better, like yep. you've obviously accepted where you're at and that's why you are where you are. And so surround yourself with people that don't accept you for where you are, accept you more so for what your abilities are, what they know that you could create provided you actually go yeah. all in and commit. And part of that is, again, just being in an ecosystem that has a standard, that has values. And that literally was probably one of the main things that changed the game for us. Absolutely. Is like that's when we came back and added core values into our business and started having personal standards, whether it was with our health or our like our, our family yeah. or, you know, faith or whatever it is like there's something missing and you know that there's something missing and we want to try to bridge that gap between where you are and what's missing. And we yeah. hope that this is, this, this event will do just that for you. Right. It, it will. It definitely will for the right people that show yeah. up with the right intentions. Yeah. Like, you know, showing up looking for that, like that, that next thing that's going to make you the better person to yeah. create that ripple effect in your world, in your company and, and all the people and lives that are affected by your company. It's like, dude, it's incredible, man. Like that, that whole RT experience of like just learning directly from those guys, man, yeah. about operating with integrity and ethics. It's like, dude, I didn't come from an environment of values. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have anything, bro. Like nothing. Yeah. It was like parents were fighting all the time. There was no, like, they weren't stewards of their money. They weren't like, you know, they weren't, uh, leading by example in any way. It was, it was all about just like trying to survive and hoard. And it, it wasn't like there, there really was those values of like abundant mindsets and thinking and like creating great lives and having faith and like having God in our life and, you know, making sure that money is used as a tool for great things. Like I didn't ever hear money was a magnifier till I was what? 32, yeah, three, yeah. whatever it was, we started actually like shifting. And so, you know, like, dude, I, I'm excited, man. I'm stoked to, yeah. to be able to like have people come into this room and, and be able to kind of uh, pay it forward. Yeah. You yeah, know? that's what's cool about it is if we didn't attend that first event, you that's listening to this wouldn't be listening to this Yeah, because the podcast wouldn't exist. Exactly. Right. So there is a ripple effect and there's going to be people in that room that that ripple effect will continue. Yeah. You know, they're going to take a piece of information into their business, into their families, into their lives. And that will be the thing like this will change some people's lives. And again, they yeah. have to have the right intent the right and energy like they have to be willing to be open to the information and be willing to change their yeah. actions and their habits and how they live their life and i guarantee you you're listening to this right now 
your life could be completely different in two years, yeah. three years, four years. Our life is completely different in the four or five years since we started attending events. You know, like we want to be better on a day-to-day basis, but we just really didn't, like deep down, I think everybody does, but you just don't know how, Yeah, you know? And mm, so we want, next step. yeah, what's the next step? step? Like, and the first yeah. step is again, you know, show the universe that you're committed by maybe spending a little bit of money saying, I want to get better. Yeah. Give me an environment to get better and I'll show up there yeah. and I'll be receptive to whatever information is available. And at that point, I'm going to take that information and I'm going to do something about it because my family deserves better. My employees deserve better and I deserve better because now my standards and values have been increased because of the environment that I was yeah. in. Right. It's literally not even about the money. It's about yeah. that right yeah. there. It's about like, you can't put an ROI on literally becoming a better human. Yeah. Like it's impossible because that pays dividends forever. Yeah. <laughs> right. So it's like, you know, how do you, how do you do, put it on paper? Your accountant says, what's the return on investment if I buy the VIP package for, yeah. you know, 1997. So $2,000 for V everybody that we only have 10 VIP only packages, 10. Yeah. right? And every, every person that's a part of the VIP package gets an opportunity to come be on the real business owners podcast that gets five to 10,000 downloads. Like yeah. imagine a stadium full of five to 10,000 people hearing your story, hearing about you and your business and the things that you've overcome. Like we've had people, Cody Jefferson on the call last week said, Hey, 250,000 is what I've made just by being on that podcast. Yep. One podcast, yep. you know, Eddie Malouf said, Hey, I, 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 I'd have to put a pen to paper, but it's probably 50 to a hundred thousand dollars that I made yeah. off of being on your podcast. Brody was like Brody, first week, 20 G's, 20 G's. Know? And he's like, dude, if I check right now, it's probably 30,000. And that was like two or th- two years ago. Yeah. So it's him. His is probably over 50,000. Like that's powerful. So to spend two grand to have the VIP experience where you get to go to dinner with us, the speakers, our intimate mastermind members that pay tens of thousands of dollars yep. to be a part of the real business owner mastermind. Like, come on. Yep. Like if you're, if you're literally creating all of these environments around the mastermind members, around the speakers, around me and you, like on the podcast, around yep. our listeners and this type of an environment, <laughs> like this is about, bringing value to to you the listener and, and and you the individual that actually digs in their pocket and spends their hard-earned money on something that they know is the right thing to do for them yeah, yeah it might be the hard thing sure like <laughs> it was hard for us to spend six grand a month and be a part of the rta syndicate yeah but guess Just what proximity here we are yeah. you guys listening here, like our network is tenfold. We have a business now that pays us $20,000 a month that we really don't do much for um, outside of leadership meetings and some ideas here and there because we have somebody put in place that operates that business, which was something that we did to bring value to that person to give them the opportunity to run that business to where that now they have equity, be, all because we met somebody yeah. that had something that was missing that we didn't have because we spent six grand a month Dude. and we, we went into that environment yeah. and like the right thing to do is the right thing to do. And the right thing to do is most often not the easy thing to do. It's the difficult thing. And yeah. because it's difficult, the majority of people won't do it. And because the majority of people won't do it, you'll get the result that the majority of people don't have. Right. Right. Spot on, and dude. so it's like, this is, this is it. This yeah. is it. Like, this is what we've done. Like we're giving you an opportunity to literally just walk in our, in our, in our footsteps and get in proximity with us, get in proximity yep. to the people that we're in proximity with and break some bread together. Yep. You know what I mean? Like learn together, grow together. Like what's better than that? So like, true, dude. You know? So true. And you know, and like you, you were talking about the downloads, right? Like yeah. five to 10,000, like, yeah. Like some the of first, them are 15,000. The first yeah. week. Yeah. Like, yeah. It keeps yeah. growing, right? Yeah. Like the yeah. first week we're going to hit 5,000 listeners and there's only literally 280 seats in this event yeah. there's only four spots for sponsorships yeah. right and like i think about sponsorships dude i paid 10 grand six years ago we paid 10 grand i should say you know t- was that five years or six years ago we sponsored mdm for the first time. 2017 or 18 something yeah like that. so yeah. it's like you know it's like dude this 10 grand like here we are we're gonna offer sponsorships that, for five thousand bucks 10 grand was a lot of money to us and at there's that so point. much value in our sponsorship you know? package there's only four there's only four. And yeah, to be totally transparent, 
I'm fucking selling it, dude, because you should always sell what you believe in. Yeah. And the road that we've been on, I freaking believe in in exactly what we're doing. We are now mm. taking the baton that we've been handed, yeah. and now we have the opportunity to pay it forward and give these opportunities to people to sponsor, to get VIP tickets. There's only 10 of those. And then there's a couple hundred of the 297. You know, well, so we, I'm selling it, dude, yeah. just being transparent because yeah. I'm freaking stoked yeah. because I know it's going to change lives. If you had the cure for cancer, would you, would you speak it from the mountaintops? Exactly. Because you know, it's going to bring value to the world. Exactly. Right. Like the fact is, is the whole time we've talked about, like before even throwing our own event for the last four years, Hey, we've joined masterminds. We go to events, like be of growth, you know, listen to good information, read books. Like, where do you think we got all of the information? Mm -hmm. Like we were just going to events, growing, getting better, and then bringing stuff onto the podcast. And you're like, man, these guys got it all figured out. No, like we just go into the right environments that give us the information to make us think differently. And when you think differently, you start acting differently. Yeah. When you start acting differently, the results that get produced become different, mm -hmm. right? And so that's all it was for us. And that's what we're trying to create for you guys. And so yeah, man. No, you know, we're build, we're uh, we don't want, we, but at the same time, we don't want it to be like a NASCAR, uh, you know, driver's suit to where there's like 800 sponsors. Oh, yeah. Where it's like a, you know, baby sticker on the side of the, you know, fender or something yeah. like that. That's why we only have four sponsorship yeah. opportunities. And, uh, you know, all the information will be uh, rbolive.com for the sponsorships on what they receive, um, as well as the VIP what they'll be receiving as well as the kind of the general admission. Yeah. And like, we're trying to, we understand that this is a value game, right? Like back in the day, we wanted to make a bunch of money when you're first starting out in business. And then you get to the point where you start to become of growth and you realize it's more about the value that you put out in the world will determine what you receive back from the world. Right. Exactly. And so, yes, there is price points. Yes. We are selling an event that we do believe in, and it's our first event. It's our it's our baby. Like you guys are the ones that made this happen, right? Yeah. By supporting us and by listening to us, and it's, so it's like, dude, we want to give you the game. We like this is <laughs> that, that, that like, here we go. You yeah. know what I mean? The ripple effect must continue. Yeah. And if we only go to events to get information that serve us, like, that's not truly serving us. Is because when you're really in the service of taking care of other people and passing on the information that you've received, that's when you're really serving yourself exactly. is because you feel best about you when you are of service, not just necessarily being served, duh, exactly. right? And so those are two totally different things. And so we've been served by this community of, of self-improvement and growth, you know, entrepreneurship environments, um, going to events and masterminds. And it's like, like you can only do that for so long before yeah. it's your turn to like turn around and like help the next generation up. Yeah. Right. And so that's what this is. And and that's what we're excited about. And like, we want to see your ass there. It was a fun you episode, know? dude, because yeah. like a lot of reminiscing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, that was a fun episode because it's like, you know, we're promoting the event, but we have all this passion about it, you know, and I'm thinking back, like you were saying something, um, before we end, like you were saying something about like showing up willing to just like, yeah. you know, execute and like buy into the information. And I remember when we started doing our first videos, right. We started yeah. putting ourselves out there. One, I was significantly like overweight, you know, compared to what I am now, you know, and that's a cool thing. Like these environments, dude, like it's kind of hard to let yourself go yeah. when you're in like a club or an environment of like everybody just thriving. Right. Mm -hmm. And so like, dude, it inspired me to get in better shape and be a better father and all this stuff. But it's all because we bought into the information. Like yeah. we didn't just show up and be like, Pfft. They're just trying to sell us, yeah. right? Like we bought them like, dude, let's freaking try it. Yeah. Let's send our client. Let's create a new experience for our clients. Yeah. Dude, let's try it. Let's try new things at home with our family. Dude, let, mm. let's take all this stuff. Let's try it. Right. And so I remember when we were doing our first videos and I remember the background music, it was like, it sounded like that Mexican music. Do you remember that one? And I had like mm. me in a corner up in this video and it was like, you know, I was like pitching something like some, I some message, some inspiration. Were, yeah, and we were good. doing the hashtag buy in because back then we were oh, like, yeah. buy Buy into the information, yeah. man. Like that's what's holding yeah. everybody back. Like you're just not buying in. You're, yeah. you're holding yourself back because you're I just like that. looking for what's wrong that instead of just doing it. That was gonna be our hashtag when we it was started. Be was our hashtag, hashtag buy yeah. in. And like so whatever you're like, doing, buy all the way in because yeah. it's just not worth doing yeah. 
if you're not going to go all in on that thing, right? Exactly. Like that's how, how we kind of create. Dude, the we concept. still do it though. We're like yeah. so bought in. Yeah. Like the speakers we're bringing yeah. in, like are all guys that we've hired to mentor us, yeah. train us, give us information. We buy into it. We get results from it. They become friends and now they're in our ecosystem. We do business with them. They come and speak for us. Mm -hmm. We don't speak for them. Like, dude, it's incredible, bro. But when you were saying that, I was singing, I was like smiling yeah, because I was like, dude, I, I remember, remember that, that hashtag buy in, right? Oh, um, those were cringy videos, but you know, <laughs> It, again <laughs> but they you, worked you know but they yeah you know, <laughs> i guess you guys liked them <laughs> you know here you are still listening so yeah. like but we just had the courage to show yeah, up yeah and put them out there we bought into the fact that we knew that that was going to be the right thing long term yeah right and even know that we knew that it was going to be a little weird a little awkward a little self-conscious a little of this a little of that all the not fun stuff right yeah. um we were willing to go through that because we were bought in on what the potential was, what it really could do, the impact that it has the ability to make. And here we are four years later, a little bit less awkward, a little bit less self-conscious, a little bit more successful, you know, all yeah. of these things. And it's, you know, life is a, is a journey of constant growth, constant change, constant evolution. Yeah. You know, this is an evolution of, of real business owners and we want to be a part of the evolution of you. Um, and we, we definitely hope to see you at the, RBO Dude. live event. Absolutely. So Super pumped. RBO live.com. Buy your ticket now. The first hundred tickets stay at the two ninety seven price. Yep. After that, the price will be going up. We if have to. We have to because like like, dude, our whole goal is just to break even on this yeah, event. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know, so we have yeah. to raise the prices. <laughs> we have to in order to pay the speakers travel. Like, yeah. dude, it's literally possibly a multi six figure event. Yeah. Right. And we don't have a lot of seats to yeah, sell 300 seat. Like yeah. start doing the math five sponsors or four sponsorships for five grand. That's only 20 grand. Yeah. 10 VIP tickets for two grand each. It's only 20 grand. That's only 20 grand. Yeah. So where are we at now? 40 G's Yeah. now do 280 tickets roughly times 300. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the math don't really add up. You're talking about 110, 120,000. Exactly. So like, We'll be lucky if we break even. We might end up losing twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. But like in business, we've lost money before because we're yeah. playing more of the long game. Like exactly. and and like this is something that we're passionate about. And if you're passionate about it, you're willing to go backwards a little bit because you know it's the right thing to do and it'll launch you forward to something else different, something special. So yeah. We believe that we might be able to, you know, break even on it, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but if not, that's okay. That's just the goal, you know? right? Like, we, like we didn't break even when we hired a videographer and exactly. we bought cameras and this and that, and we started doing a podcast. Yeah. Like, that was a, an investment of thousands of dollars per month. Yep. And uh, over time, over years and years, yes, it's brought value back to us, but we had to bring value to the world first before yeah. it came back. Exactly. And this is our way of bringing value to the world in hopes that it will come back. And this it will, is dude. It'll yeah, lead to bigger I, like, things. And, yeah, absolutely. You know, our, the community that we've already built is just so yeah. powerful, man. Yeah. And like, I know the right people will, will get in that. Like, it's yeah. going to be amazing. Um, dude, I'm just pumped. Yeah, me too. RBOLive.com. We hope to see you there. Peace out. <laughs>